Now let's talk why it's so hard to change. The new year is quickly approaching and many of us are thinking about our new year's resolution. We're looking for a fresh start and becoming a better version of ourselves. And this can be anything from losing weight or overcoming a mental illness. Regardless of what your goals are, we all have good intentions, but by the time March rolls around, most of us have given up on our new year's resolution. Some of us have given up after only a couple weeks of the year. So why is that? Well, our good old friend, the subconscious mind is to blame. We've conditioned the subconscious mind to think and feel a certain way about every aspect of our lives through our experiences and what we observe. And this is especially true the first few years of our lives. The first seven years of our lives, we are observers and our subconscious mind is absorbing everything. We pay attention to how people interact with one another and we also pay attention to what people say to us, to other people, and about the world around us. Let's just say you witness your parents arguing about money and you're like, what is this money thing? This must be bad. If it's causing my parents to get upset at each other, this money thing might be bad. So what does your subconscious mind do? creates a limiting belief that money equals bad. So by the time you get older, you have this belief money is bad. You might struggle to make money, struggle to make enough money. And if you do get money, you're quick to spend it because holding on to money is a bad thing. Bad things happen when you hold on to money. Side note, a limiting belief is just a thought or opinion that you believe to be true, but it negatively impacts your life. So this can be money is bad, everyone cheats, I'm not enough, I'm not lovable, just to name a few. Once we've hit seven years old, we have created a rule book filled with all of our limiting beliefs about every aspect of our lives, how we view relationships, money, our health, love, self-love, and so forth. Here's a fun exercise to show you your limiting beliefs about your relationships. Okay, so take the personality of your mom, write the traits down, do the same thing with your dad. Then I want you to write down the personality of your parents when they're together. How do they interact with one another? Now I want you to do their fighting style. When they fight with one another, how do they act? Now my favorite part is write down which one of those traits you currently use today. You're welcome. Or I'm sorry. I don't know. It was kind of like a... Anyways, this rule book is what your subconscious mind enforces, is what you use to navigate through your life. So whenever you come across a situation that goes against your belief or your rules, you might self-sabotage, get angry, run away. Fear is a common thing. If you're going outside of this, it will create a negative response to get you away from that. Not healthy at all, but it's in your rule book. When you decide to make a change, your subconscious mind freaks out because you're going against your rule book and it thinks there's something wrong with you. So it does everything in its power to protect you. It basically declares war on you. It will create more intense feelings of depression and it might add a little bit of anxiety too. It will create thoughts in your head. I'm not good enough. Why bother? It's not like anybody cares about me. I'm not loved. Change is hard just to get you back into that depressed state. It's gonna go crazy. Sometimes it will bring back memories from your past that you haven't even thought of in years. You know, when your pet bird died and the only way that you found out about it is you saw the bird cage at the bottom of the driveway and the reason why your parents did it because it was garbage day and then you feel like holding onto an empty bird cage for a week. You know, something like that. That's why when you start going against your rule book and start making positive changes, it feels like it's getting worse before it gets better. And that's because it is. You are in the middle of a war and you don't even realize it. And sometimes it feels like you are going insane. It's like you have two personalities. You have the new version of you and the old version of you. And you're just going back and forth. And sometimes the new version wins and sometimes the old version wins. And your body is fighting against you and you don't know why. It's like, dude, I'm trying to help you. Let me help you. You're not insane and you're not doing anything wrong. You're just going against the rule book that you created for your subconscious mind. And your subconscious mind wants to help you out. It wants to enforce these rules, but since you're going into the unfamiliar, it just doesn't know what to do. So what do you do when you're in war with your subconscious mind? Understanding why the subconscious mind is doing this and how it works does help. 
also taking responsibility that you did create these rules for your subconscious mind to enforce. Now, I get it. A lot of these limiting beliefs came when we were at a very young age and we didn't know any better. But the best thing about us creating our own rules is that we can create new ones. You can create positive affirmations that you say first thing in the morning and right before you go to bed to help reprogram your mind. But you also want to do a mental diet throughout the day. So whenever you have those negative thoughts in your mind, you stop them, reject them, and then you flip your thoughts. So if you have a feeling of this is too hard, I'm not deserving, be like, no, this is easy for me. Of course I'm deserving. This is my life. I can have whatever I want. You can do journaling, a few letters. I mean, there's just so many things that you can do to reprogram your mind and to stop your subconscious mind from winning this war. Now, whenever you get these negative feelings, feel your feelings, but don't let your feelings dictate your thoughts. Keep going. And whenever you get that feeling of this is too hard, I don't want to get up and go to the gym or you know what? Maybe overcoming mental ills is too hard. Stop it. Realize that it's just your subconscious mind trying to keep you in your old version of yourself and just push on through because that's how the change happens. Overcoming your subconscious mind, the old version of yourself. And that is your quick rundown of why it's so difficult to change.